Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Titla and we are back here in Agatha's Christie Murder on the Orient Express and we are back with Joanna Loki here to complete her storyline, I think this is the last chapter of Joanna's for Joanna's, yeah, Bill Note, Bill Notice, Joanna Lockett, okay. A bill from the power company with, I'm sure, plenty of excuses why my rates keep going up. Exactly. Yeah. That's 2023 in a nutshell. Oh, look at this. Look at this for Scarelli. Travel. For the discriminating traveler. Also for the overworked detective who never seems to have time for a vacation. Well, I can dream, can't I? Mm -hmm. That's the case of Daisy. Years of no new leads in the Armstrong case. And then this. No. Michael Clark. The sarcastic reporter, my prime suspect in the kidnapping, murdered four years ago? Well... The body of investigative reporter Michael Clark was found buried in his Boston backyard. Clark was killed by a single shot to the chest. State of decomposition suggests an estimated date of death and burial. Fall. 2018 Yeah Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep yeah. Oh, there's a mustache Cool I've earned a gold mustache One of one Yay What do we got to have here Still Oh, here. This is Michael Clark? He doesn't look anything like the journalist I interviewed. Michael, Indeed. you have earned a place on my evidence board. Indeed. I'll leave the important clues you find automatically out to the evidence board on the wall. You can consult them at any time by selecting the evidence board. Okay. The lab team found this keychain in the cabin, but they wouldn't have bothered to examine the keys once the DA shut down the investigation. The keys were just tossed in the evidence box along with everything else. It's too unusual not to demand a closer look. Hmm, that's the dice. Yeah. Okay. Let's start one, two, three, where's four, four, now where is five, five, six, seven, be some sort of combination
What the hell? the hell hmm I'm not sure if I'm understanding this hmm that's a skull That's a skull, all right. How the hell do I put this together? How the hell do I put this together? Okay, let's try this once again. That's a new USB. Hmm, a USB key. 
Let's plug it into my PC and see what nasty little secret it contains. Indeed. Okay, good. This thing is done. Now, what the hell this is all about, I don't know. Don't understand. One, two, probably. Okay, let's start this over. One, two, one, one, two. two. Yeah, the the holes. Yes. What do they call this? Brass knuckles, knuckle dusters, illegal in Massachusetts. Possession alone can lead to serious jail time. Okay. Cool. Now the dice. Oh, still got something in here. This key. Three, five, six, nine. They sell them on the internet for self-protection. Three, five, six, nine. Okay. So let's try it. Three. Five. Six. And nine. Good. What do we find? A capsule and a smell... Cyanide. Bitter almonds. Cyanide. Yeah. And I think that's it. No, we still got this. What the hell is this? A uh, flashlight. A portable flashlight. Good. Swiss Army. What do we have here? A flashlight. They can also conceal knives, but in this case we have lockpicks. Mm-hmm. Cool. Very cool. Okay, I think the keys are done. Good. Let's go now this side. Cutter and duct tape. So clever. All that evidence and yet no DNA found. The fluffy. Fluffy. Daisy's plush toy. Yeah. So sad. Bottle of wine. The only fingerprints found on the bottle were Suzanne's. Her brush. Suzanne's hair, so conveniently left in the cabin for us to find. It was planted. I knew she was innocent. Indeed. Done with the evidence. Now we have to connect the dots. On the evidence board, if I'm not mistaken. Moby Dick, Herman Melville. I've read it probably ten times already. Mm. But I can't get enough of it. Don't know why. Maybe because it helps me sleep? It's a cool book. Oh. I don't have time to waste on magazines. I don't have time to waste on magazines. Okay. 
Daisy. Oh, you have a Garfield. I see. I know I have to stop printing. It's bad for the planet. Mm -hmm. USB key. Shaved off the Metro beard. But I'd recognize that smug bastard anywhere. The man I interviewed four years ago posing as Michael Clark. This goes on the board. Maybe they needed to show the ransom to someone to check if the serial numbers were still on record. I'll print them and on the wall they go. Lanfranco Cassetti. Absolutely nothing on this Cassetti. His driver's license is almost surely a fake. Okay, done. Oh, still not done. What do I still miss here? Maybe they needed to show the ransom to check if the serial. Maybe they needed to show the ransom to someone to check if the serial numbers were still on record. Hmm. I know I have to stop printing. It's bad for the planet. Okay, let's use the evidence box. Let me just check I'm not missing anything. USB drive? What do we need still here? One of two. One of two on the USB drive, really. Okay, let's connect it. Clues first. Connect the two items in the board together to create a link between them and make conclusions about the investigation. To inspect. Okay. So Ratchet's real name was Cassetti. <coughs> okay, cool. District Attorney Lawrence McQueen retires unexpected at the age of 50. According to his family members, McQueen had been haunted since last December by the Daisy Armstrong kidnapping and may have blamed himself that the perpetrators were never brought to justice. He was often heard to question his decision not to pursue uh, the case further. He, has con he had concluded at the time that Susan Moreau the Armstrong nanny was the kidnapper and that her suicide due to remorse over her actions had officially closed the, clay, the case. A few voices were raised to criticize his decision. His family, especially his son, supported him in this difficult decision to seek re early retirement. He is replaced by district attorney, attorney Arthur Winston. But not, not, that's not what it reads here, but okay. Here it reads, decorated soldier colonel John Armstrong fought his last battle against an enemy he could never defeat, grief. After the kidnapping and murder of his daughter, he lost his wife and a second child in childbirth. Then the suicide of the man suspecting the death of his daughter, of the main suspect in the death of his daughter, deprived him of any justice. Facing an empty life in that tragic house, Colonel Armstrong t took his own life. Many of his former command 
were on hand today for the commemorative ceremony, as were local officials and dignitaries. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, that's what I read now. Okay. So yeah, there, there's a bug there. Okay. Colonel Armstrong returns to the Berkshires. Here is one of our community's leading ci citizens arriving back home from Washington and the Pentagon. When it asked how his meeting went, he laughed and said, too many generals. Okay, this and this. Nope. Oh, sorry. This and this. Okay, that's linked already. Okay, I see. Evidence of the kidnap. A letter was found outside the child's bedroom window, which was used to remove Daisy from the house. The window, usually locked from the inside, was found open. Four-wheel drive tracks were found in the woods near the house. No party guests drove a 4x4. Yeah, we saw that already. Yeah, the death of the real Michael Clark. The body of a man was found dead in a forest near Watertown, a suburb of Washington or of Boston. Death was caused by a single bullet fired from point blank range. The face was deliberately disfigured with a hammer and a one hundred dollar bill was found lodged in the victim's throat. The serial number of the bill was identified as part of one million dollar ransom from the Daisy Armstrong kidnapping. Yeah. This and this. Nope. Autopsy report that caused by a chest wound left of the sternum between the fourth and the fifth ribs, perpetrating the penetrating the heart. A 22 caliber bullet was recovered, but no matches could be found in law enforcement databases. Victim's face was too damaged with a heavy blunt instrument such as sledgehammer to be used for face facial recognition. No database match for the victim's teeth could be found. Tips of the fingers were removed so no prints recover. Surprisingly a tattoo approximately one inch and one inch square was found on the inside of the subject right wrist. Again no matches in the database could be found. Considering the other mutilations to inhibit identification, why was the tattoo untouched? Yeah. That's eerily similar to that thing that we solved in the keychain. Oh, look at the tattoo. Look at that tattoo, man. This tattoo is the same on both pictures. Indeed. Indeed. Sure, you cannot connect here. Nope. Not sure. Okay. 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 What we got missing? 
Zero out of five. Okay. Still zero. that USB drive that we still need to do something I don't know what but I'm missing something here the tattoo hmm the hell I'm still missing here, man? There's nothing more in the evidence box. Okay. Let's use the ints because I'm not sure. Mm, this and this, yeah. Makes sense. I knew it. The faces don't match at all. They are clearly two different men. I should run facial recognition on my computer. Okay, we'll use it. Let's do it. Facial recognition. Okay. The real Michael Clark has been dead for years. Let's see if the photo of the fake Michael Clark matches someone in the database of known criminals. I've tried this several times in the past few years, but came up empty. Maybe whoever he really is has finally made a mistake. This one. That could be him, but he looks pretty different. Uh, the beard? Yes. He seems different at first glance, but still, it's the same person. The glasses. All right. The hair. That's it. And the forehead. No, I did no, something no, no, no. wrong. Not the nose. No, no, no this no. isn't it. Think. Mouth? I don't need Mr. Poirot to tell me I'm wrong. The nose, the nose seems... Oh, it's a little bit too... He's changed his appearance a lot. Probably had some plastic surgery on his nose. But there is no doubt it's the same person. Let's see why he was arrested. Samuel Ratchet. Arrested. Arrested November 23 on 2023 at Yerevan Airport in Armenia in possession of stolen ancient artifacts. The three Mesopotamian statuettes were confiscated and placed under sequestration by the court. The man paid bail. The trial is set for January 5th, 2024. Mr. Ratchet, you didn't just steal statuettes. What recent information does the database have on you? Cool. I'm more wretched. It's so frustrating. I have a name, but I can't find anything about him. But I know just who to call. Okay. Robot defense. 
Defense League. We are monitoring this call. Hello, Braid. Long time. Oh, Joanna. Hey, how may I assist you? I need you to search the dark web. Yeah, uh, can you narrow that down a little? Because, uh, it's pretty big and pretty dark out here. <laughs> Could you find intel about a Samuel Ratchet? Samuel Ratchet. Got it. Bad dude? They don't come worse. Send me what you find by email. All right, hang on. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh-huh, okay, nope, nope, and okay, oh, this might be something, I gotta do a deeper dive, but uh, you should find this interesting, could be coincidence if I believed in them, emailing details, domo arigato, Mr. Roboto, domo arigato, We're here to save mankind, oh, it's a cookbook, Domo arigato. Email from Braid. The Orient Express. I'm going to print these tickets and put them on the board. Yeah, for booking made by Hector McQueen. For Hector McQueen, Samuel Wretched, and Edward Masterman. Not all is done on the computer, I see. Okay, now we got some tickets. This with this. This is Ratchet's ticket. This with this. This with this. With this. With this, this, with Goodbye, this. Michael Clark. Hello, Samuel Ratchet, the man who stole your identity and your life. Okay. This and this. The person traveling with Ratchet has the same last name as my district attorney during the Armstrong case? Yes, we know. It was his father. We know that. Okay, what am I missing now? This and this. As Ratchet is alive, the dead man can only be Noah. Noah. Okay, do we miss anything? Two out of five. Find information about the uh, Horizon Express. Okay, we got that pamphlet somewhere. Yes. The Orient Express departs from Istanbul next week. Interesting. I'll put it on the board. Cool. The event? Some old train? But that face, that man. Okay. Hector McQueen. I knew it. He's the son of my former GA. Yep. He goes on the evidence board. Yes, he is. Still something to do here on the computer. Okay. No, this and this. Here's what Hector McQueen looks like. This and this. 
Hector McQueen is the son of District Attorney McQueen. Indeed. Next week, a certain Edward Masterman will be on the Orient Express. Hector McQueen will be on the Orient Express next week. Ratchet will be traveling on the Orient Express in a week. Buscarelli will be on the Orient Express next week. Cool. Do I got it all? Do I got it all? No, still three out of five. Which is curious to see the list. What am I missing here? Let's use the hints. John Armstrong and... Why is that? I know that face. That's John Armstrong's driver. Okay. Damn, Ratchet is taking the Orient Express next week. McQueen, the district attorney's son, is too. Foscarelli, the Armstrong chauffeur, is too. It can't be a coincidence. McQueen and Foscarelli must have decided to take revenge and will undoubtedly attack Ratchet on this train. I have to be on the Orient Express to stop them. And above all, I must stop Ratchet. But I can't do it in Istanbul because there's no extradition treaty with the United States. Ratchet can never be judged in the US without an extradition treaty. I'll have to wait until he's in Paris to have him arrested. Cool, man. Okay, let's get a ticket by the computer, probably. Yeah. Indeed. Every compartment is taken for this special anniversary journey. Oh, it's impossible to find a ticket. What can I do? Uh, buy a ticket from someone? Let's find out who's traveling on the Orient Express. Time to call Braid. Braid! <laughs> it's me again. I haven't found anything useful yet. I need one last favor. But it's a big one. Uh-oh. Can you find me the list of passengers of the Orient Express for that anniversary trip? Hold on. Surprisingly good, maybe because of the big event. I found the list, but they sealed my back door as I was starting to capture it. Oh no. Oh, calm down. I got one name. Female. The name I got before they kicked me off the server was Stacy Johnson. Do you feel like a Stacy Johnson? The question is, how is she going to feel about helping me? That's one you'll have to figure out for yourself. I gotta go back to weaving my magic on the web. Stacy Johnson. Stacy Johnson, actress, star in the movie Love and Despair, sponsor of several associations helping sick children, arresting for attacking a paparazzi, case settled out of court. That's a big close up. Hello, is this Stacy Johnson? Who's I'm a police detective. My name is Joanna Locke. I'm a police detective. And I'm just an actress. Now what did I do wrong? Uh -huh. Nothing. I need your help. I need to take your place in the Orient Express. Is this a joke? No way. Talk about the Armstrong Do you remember case? the Armstrong kidnapping? Of course I do. That poor little girl. I'm a police officer. I have a new lead that may help me find her killer. Wait. Didn't they prove it was the nanny? I have, new I have evidence. found compelling new evidence. I've reopened my investigation. You know, I had 
my doubts about the murderous nanny. I played a nanny a couple years ago in a slasher. I was killed in the first episode, but it got me interested in helping kids. You understand Stacey, the situation? Stacy, please. You say you help kids? Well, I joined a couple of associations who are trying to help underprivileged kids. If this little girl's real killer is still out there somewhere, I'd do anything I could to help. Getting me on that train will help more than you can imagine. So, you want my ticket for the Orient Express? But I booked it months ago. I was so much looking forward to this trip. Make a nice gesture. Stacy, I can tell you care about kids. Here's your chance to help put this beast in prison for the rest of his life. Think of the publicity for those causes you care about. Think about the kids. The kids. Yeah. All right. We'll do it for Daisy and the kids who suffer. I'll take care of changing the tickets to your name and send it to you. Get him. Make him pay. I will. Thank you so much. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Stacy was as good as her word. I received the ticket. I called my chief to let him know I was taking my vacation time. I had coming. I flew to Istanbul. I was finally going to nail the monster responsible for Daisy Armstrong's death, Michael Clark's death, even his accomplice, and, I suspected, so many others as well. You know the rest. Yep. We do know the rest. So... This story is done for Joanna Lucky, and now we return to the Orient Express to finish this. It's still stuck. And that's how I found myself on this train, on Ratchet's trail. The rest you know. My identity is easily checked with the Berkshire police. Thank you for your detailed account, Mademoiselle Locke. In addition to giving us crucial details of the investigation, you have made it clear that there are many who might wish to see Ratchet dead. Indeed. Innocent. I know you are innocent. Your forthright testimony and your movements or lack of them, last night, eliminate you from our list of suspects. I agree, without a doubt. Another detective will be great help to the investigation. Book. Although my friend certainly does not need any help. You are too kind. Thank you for believing me. I'd like to help in any way I can. Do not worry, Mademoiselle Locke. Already I see things more clearly. It's obvious. Whoever drugged you was trying to derail your investigation. You mean the person who did this to me is Ratchet's killer? Both Monsieur Michel and Fraulein Schmidt had the means and opportunity to drug you. While you get your strength back, I intend to interview them. Excellent idea, my friend. All this excitement has whetted my appetite. Mm. I'm sure Mademoiselle Locke won't say no to a good, invigorating meal. What? No. I want to hear what the conductor and Fräulein Schmidt have to say for themselves. It is my duty to ensure the well-being of the passengers. If Dr. Constantine has no objection, I will escort you to the restaurant car. On the contrary, some food will do her the greatest good. Well, I'm still a little shaky. Mr. Poirot, will you please keep me informed about what you learn? You may be certain of it. Cool. So... This is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and leave me some comments down below, it all helps. But this time, we are done, thanks so much for watching guys, my name is Titlar, I hope to see you next time, for the next episode, bye bye, and take care. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Also read the description below, where you will find ton of useful information and links regarding the contents of this video.